my heart, I still feel that I can play center field, but at the same time, uh, this is not about Carlos, it's about the team. I'm Tim McMaster with the MLB.com FastCast, and that was Carlos Beltran talking about making the move from center to right field for the Mets. Beltran is a three-time Gold Glove winner in center, but with the uncertainty surrounding the health of his right knee this spring, he will move to right. Angel Pagan will officially take the reins in center. It's a place he's familiar with, filling in for Beltran there 94 times in 2010. I feel really fortunate to, 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 be, to be past this torch to, from, from the player I always look up to. You know, I think uh, having him right next to me is going to be a, a, a great plus for me. You know, it's gonna, you know, I'm going to keep looking up to him and uh, keep trying to pick his brain because I'm sure he's, you know, he's one of the best outfielders out there and uh, I'm trying to be like him. Pagan showed his excitement in his first at-bat Monday, hitting his first homer of the spring. The Nationals beat the Mets 9-3, though, as Michael Morse went deep twice. Nationals super prospect Bryce Harper struck out in his first two spring training at-bats. In the Cactus League, the Dodgers sunk the White Sox 6-5. Clayton Kershaw didn't give up an earned run over three innings, striking out three in his first start of the spring. The Dodgers continue to mourn the loss of Duke Snyder, who passed away Sunday. One of the franchise's all-time greats, Snyder was a member of World Series champion Dodgers teams in Brooklyn and in his hometown of Los Angeles. The eight-time All-Star hit over 400 home runs in his Hall of Fame career. Snyder patrolled center field at Ebbets Field. At the same time, Willie Mays was playing center for the New York Giants, and Mickey Mantle was playing center for the Yankees. He was in the same category as Mantle. And, and, and Mays. He was an outstanding center fielder. And he had a lot of home runs, tremendous power, played on a lot of championships, hit a lot of World Series home runs. So he's right up there with Mays and Mantle. Duke Snyder was 84 years old. Back on the field, the Angels held off the A's 8-7. to seven. Bobby Abreu doubled twice and drove in a run for the Halos in the win. And the Red Sox had a scare as Josh Beckett was hit in the head with a batted ball during batting practice. Beckett was sent home with mild concussion symptoms. For more on these stories and the rest of Monday's spring training action, stay locked to MLB.com. It's baseball everywhere.